happening peoples anthony here from simple creative marketing and uh, i just wanted to do a quick video to deal with a common challenge for people who are using mac max right so i've uh my so i'm using a macbook pro um and my wife's got a macbook air and she's also got a surface uh, so one of the challenges that we have is with hard drives and transferring between Windows and Mac iOS, and that's a common frustration and pain point for us, and I'm sure for you as well. Uh, so I wanted to do a quick video. We just bought this new drive. You can see on the screen here, which is a Western Digital five terabyte, uh, my passport uh, external. Uh, we actually got it for, well, I got it for 149, because it was on sale for Black Friday and Cyber Monday, so yay. And anyway, so just picked up the drive and then the question is how do we actually format the drive so you can use it for both uh, Mac and PC, uh, so Windows and Mac iOS. So when you first plug in a drive, you're gonna get this um, popping up, this window here, and it says you can install uh, discovery software for Mac or, or discovery for Windows, right? Normally you would just go ahead and install that. That actually just gives you um, some security features and some diagnostic tools that you can use uh, for the drive, if you want to, that's uh, actual software coming from Western Digital. You don't actually need to install that uh, to be able to use the drive. But what you will need to do is to be able to format the drive so you can uh, use it for Mac. Um, now here's the way you can go about that. So what you wanna do is, if this is popping up, that's good. It just means that the drive is being read by the computer, which is what you want. Uh, next thing you can, you can do, you can see up here where it says, uh, uh, you click into there. Uh, and then up here you can see finder you can go to uh, go in the menu select utilities i'm going to bring that down okay so here uh, you what you're looking for is your disk where is it okay we can open it up let's go there we're looking for the disk utility okay double click on that now it's going to search for all the disks that are on your computer. All right, so what we've got here is showing my passport. You actually don't want that to be showing. So we're going to uh, eject that. Right, so I'm going to actually plug the drive back in again. Okay, here you go. So you can see that there's an external drive, WD, uh, my passport, five terabytes, right? You've got my passport here, five terabytes. So you can basically now click on the external drive where we can unmount this. Click on this and we want to then just choose Erase, uh, give it a name. Right, and uh, we want to choose either MS-DOS FAT or XFAT. Uh, it's recommended that you use XFAT for if you're doing it on a Mac device. All right, so then we can click on Erase. Uh, and then you can choose if you want to use it to back up the time machine or not. Um, we will decide later. Okay, so you can see now it's saying that the erase process is complete. Click done to continue. Okay, if we double click on the drive here, um, we can test if it's working or not just by dragging and dropping a file in there. All right, so if we just go into here, find some random file like this PDF. Boom, okay, that's working, that's perfect. And you can also test creating a new folder. Test, 
and that's good. So we're good to go. Uh, and that 